Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. When you talk about on the case, we're talking about a family that's been on this case for going on 85 years. It's the Barkley family, three generations lined up here. Charles, tell us a little bit about the tractor you're standing right next to. Well, uh, we, uh, Dave bought this tractor in 1930, come in Greenville and he drove it home to Limestone and they pulled a bean hauler, drive machine, sawmill, planing mill, and farm with it. We plowed, we disc, we, when we'd go through the field, well, we'd take a disc and a drag and a hire, and we'd do a finished job most of the time, one time around. So it's really been good for us, and we I enjoyed driving it back years ago. This tractor was brand new. Your dad bought it brand new in 1930. You came along to the farm just a couple of years later in 1932. What's your earliest memory of the Case Model L? We logged with it, and I was too uh, short to sit in the seat, so I'd stand up and drag the logs into the sawmill or into the, where they load them on a the truck. That was big stuff for a little kid, huh? Yeah, I, I wasn't very old, and, and I drove it when I had to stand up and couldn't sit in the seat. And Michael, tell us just a little bit more about uh, this Case Model L. What do you think Case got right with this tractor back in 1930? Well, they're easy to work on. You can get to the motor and uh, adjust the uh, rod bearings and get to the oil pump and get to it. And, uh, and the clutch, you just reach in there and adjust the clutch easy. And it's a pretty simple tractor. What kind of shape was it in when you guys got it out and got to working with it? It was been in the weeds for years and the engine block had a hole in the side of it and uh, it was in pretty bad shape and I would have never thought we'd got this tractor back like it is today. How long did you take restoring it and how, how long have you had it looking this good? It, it took us about a couple of years because we worked on it off and on and uh, we've had it restored in the last two years. so. We're really proud of it. It really looks good. We've had a lot of help from friends, too. Now, Matthew, you're the fourth generation to have a, a piece of this tractor in your heritage. Tell us a little bit about what that means to you. Well, to have something, you know, bought new and going to be, you know, passed down, passed down, passed down is is really something. Uh, you know, a lot of people that's got these tractors, they just bought them and redone them, but to have one from the original owner, that means a lot. You think this one's gonna stay in the Barkley family for, it's been almost 85 years, you think it'll be a while longer? Oh yeah, it, it's not gonna go anywhere. It, <laughs> it'll just stay in the same area it was in all its life. Now Michael, tell me a little bit about the Model L. Do you think this was a rare one for Case back in the day? That's the only one I've really seen in this area. There's not many here, but uh, it seemed like a good tractor. And how do you enjoy driving it? Well, you've got to have the arms for it. It's a little tough. As long as you're moving, you can turn it, but sitting still, it's hard to steer it. But I like driving it. Of course, the Case, the J.I. Case Company, has been around a long, long time. Uh, you think they built a good machine, Charles? Yeah, I think so. It's uh, Dave probably wouldn't have bought it unless he thought it was good. Now, you said this one did mostly sawmill work. Is that right? Yeah, we done sawmill work, and we pulled a planer where we playing lumber, and that's when the arm come out and knocked the hole in the side. And it takes arm strong, strong arms to steer this one. Uh, does it get a little cranky getting started too? Sometimes, and sometimes it'll start right off. Back when I was younger, I could just twist it and get it started pretty easy. Cause we had to start it two or three times a day. To, we shut it down at dinner and come back and fire it up. So. Uh, we played in the lumber a lot with it, and it just been good for the family. Michael, do you have the sense you're preserving family history here? Yeah, I mean, we're proud of it. It's just unbelievable. These people around here that's worked with this tractor, and they've really been glad to see that we fixed it up, and uh, we're tickled to death. All right, the Barkley family with their 1930 Case Model L been in the family for three generations going on to the fourth before too long.